What's good YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to my channel. The Sears Tower is the tallest building in Chicago. It was completed in 1973 and designed by Skidmore, Owens and Merrill. Today we're going to go check out the sky deck on the 103rd floor and step out onto the ledge. One and a half inch thick glass boxes that let you see above the city of Chicago. It's $35 for an adult admission. Is it worth it? Let's go find out. Before we step inside this landmark that was the tallest building in the world for 25 years, go ahead and finesse that like button. Subscribe for more Chicago travel and lifestyle videos and be sure to join my Patreon community. We are two floors down from the Sears Tower lobby. This is where you buy your tickets. You get expedited entry. We already have a timed entry. So the tickets are right here on the phone. So I'm pulling up the tickets on my phone now so that we can get our entry. We got a 12 p.m. entry for the Sky Deck. This is the first time I've been here. I can't even remember the last time I came to the Sky Deck. It's been a while. I don't, I've never been out on the ledge, so it'll be a lot of fun. Once you go through security, you enter into an exhibit that tells the story of Chicago from the very beginning. It explains the stars on the flag, the great fire, other great stories. After that, you come through a hallway with some modern pictures of the city and then an architecture exhibit that has models of some of the most famous buildings around the city, like the Wrigley Building, the Tribune Tower. You can't really talk about Chicago without talking about the architecture of this city. And of course, there's a short film telling you the story of the Sears Tower here. In the next room, we have all sorts of fun facts and some more scale models, so let's check those out. Lightning strikes the Sears Tower anywhere from 50 to 100 times per year. Whoa. <laughs> a nice tall model of the Sears Tower. This looks to be at least five or six feet. It's lit up in blue very nicely. Of course, you got the spires up top and a bunch of fun facts. Like the Sears Tower is 223 Michael Jordans tall and it weighs as much as 1300 blue whales. That's a pretty heavy building if I say so myself. Over here you have some of the design. Fosler Khan, who was the structural engineer behind the tower. After the architecture, you have this CTA exhibit, which shows you the L system map and it has a model of an L train car it should be pretty fun. I ride the L all the time. You guys know that. So it'll be funny to be inside a kind of movie set of what an L train looks like. This is pretty funny. Oh, look, it's showing pictures of the University of Chicago campus as if a train rides by there, which would be dope, but that doesn't happen, sadly. <laughs> I really feel like I'm moving. It's like a video game. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody flying W flex in the crowd. <laughs> Typically, this is what I do when I'm riding the L. <laughs> <laughs> Over here you have some of Chicago's most famous foods from Hibarito to Saganaki, Italian beef, deep dish pizza, of course. So many foods that I'm starting to get really hungry. After having Pequod last night, I have a newfound infatuation with deep dish pizza. <laughs> All right, give it up for your host. Yeah, this is the most instantly recognizable photo of Chicago. Take that for what it's worth. <laughs> Do your pose again. Through those doors is gonna be the elevators to the sky deck. I can't wait, let's go up. Alright, we made it to the sky deck. Let's go and see these views. It's a beautiful clear day in Chicago and these views over a hundred stories up are magnificent. I definitely have changed my mind about the views from the Sears Tower. We haven't even hit the ledge yet, but from the sky deck, everything looks great. The iconic spot where Ferris Cameron and Sloan stood during Ferris Bueller's day off is right over there. 
I was a teenager last time I came up here and I definitely didn't know the city like I do now. You can pretty much identify mostly every building from here. Alright, we made it to the ledge of the sky deck at Sears Tower. A hundred and three floors up, 1,353 feet above the city. These views are incredible, especially on a beautiful day like this. We just got back down to ground level after being 103 floors up at the Sears Tower Sky Deck. What do you guys think? Is it worth it? You pay $35 for an adult admission. That was my first time on the ledge. That inch and a half glass that makes you feel like you're standing on top of the city. On a clear, beautiful, bright day like this, it is absolutely perfect. I personally think it is worth the price of admission. I did change my mind. If you would have asked me this a couple of weeks ago, I would have said, eh, maybe it's not worth it. But. Uh, I think so. I think I'll be coming back to the sky deck. You get incredible views, once in a lifetime pictures, and just the entire experience has left me feeling really good. I don't know if it's just because I was high up in the air above the city. If you guys enjoyed this look at the sky deck at Sears Tower, 103 floors above the city, go ahead and finesse that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I would really appreciate it if you shared this video with your very best friend. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time, but for now, I'm out of here. Peace.